A reading from the book of Zirak, chapter 4. You should not make request of one who is greatly troubled and you should not avert your face from the diligent. You should not avert your eyes from the needy out of anger and you should not abandon those who seek help from you so that they speak curses beyond your back. For the pleadings of him who speaks curses of you in the bitterness of his soul will be heeded for the one who made him will heed him. Make yourself a friend to the con congregation of the poor and humble your soul before an elder and humble your head before the great. Turn your ear without sadness towards the poor and repay your debt and respond to him peacefully in meekness. Free him who suffers injury at the hand of the arrogant and do not carry animosity in your soul. In judging, be merciful to the orphan like a father and be merciful to, the, to their mother like a husband. And then you shall be like an obedient son of the Most High and he will take piety on you more than a mother would. Wisdom breathes life into her sons and she lifts up those who are seeking her and she will precede them in the way of justice. And he who loves her loves life and those who watch for her shall embrace her delights. Those who hold to her will in her and whatever place she enters, God will bless. Those who serve her will yield to what is to what is holy and god loves those who love wisdom he who listens to her shall judge the nations and he who gazes upon her will remain secure if you if he believes in her he will inherit her and whatever arises from him will be confirmed for she walks with him through temptation and she chooses him from the beginning. She will lead fear and dread and trials over him, and she will crucify him with the tribulation of her doctrine until she has tested him in his thoughts and she can trust in his soul. And then she will strengthen him and lead him along a straight path and rejoice in him. And she will disclose her secrets to him and she will store up treasure of the knowledge and understanding of justice in him. But if he has wandered astray, she will leave him behind and she will deliver him to the, into the hands of his enemy. Son, be continually observant and keep, your, keep away from evil. For the sake of your soul, you should not be ashamed to speak the truth. For there is a shame that brings sin and there is a shame that brings glory and grace. You should not accept a face contrary to your own face, nor shall, nor should you accept a lie contrary to your own soul. You should not enjoy the fall of your neighbor, neither you should withhold words at an opportunity for salvation. You should not conceal your wisdom in her beauty. For wisdom is discerned within speech and understanding and knowledge and doctrine are discerned in the words of those who understand and by their steadfastness in the works of justice. You should not contradict a word of truth in any way, otherwise by falsehood born of ignorance you will be confounded. You should not be ashamed to confess your sins, but do not subject yourself to any man because of sin against the face of the powerful for you not strive against the current of the river suffer for injustice suffer for justice suffer for injustice suffer for justice and behalf of your soul and struggle even unto death on behalf of justice and god will fight against your enemies on your behalf do not choose to be quick with your words nor unproductive or neglectful your works do not choose to be like a lion in your distressing those of your household and oppressing, oppressing those who are subject to you. Do not let your hand be open when receiving but closed when giving. Oh,
പോയിടാം നാം ലോകം മുഴുവനും പോയിടാം